worth 10 of women. My name is Janet Nice. I reside in Perry County. I have held a Valentine license for over 50 years. I have attended the PGC board meetings since 1989 and have seen many changes in the agency, many commissioners and executive directors come and go. As for the last 12 years, I've had the honor of sitting on the Governor's Advisory Council for Hunting, Fishing, and Conservation. And that means I have a unique position here. I have interviewed every single one of you. I remember the questions we asked you, and I have memory of the answers you gave. I even went to bat for one of you when a judge was trying to make the appointment of a friend who was totally unsuited for the job. I don't even blink an eye when I get the alert to go into the hill to take down anti-gun and anti-hunting initiatives. But it is horribly upsetting to get an alert that has me seeing red and standing here before you today. This is my own case. In the audience is a strong sampling of a group of young leaders that were able to come today and stand with me on the issue of the Men and Youth Program. I am speaking of the past Governor's Youth Council. If any of you are still here, please stand up so we can see. Texas, 
both states have no minimum age. Pennsylvania would be the first to take away opportunity. Not a single state has done that. In 2012, there were 10,288 mentored youth under the age of nine that yeah. would have been prohibited.
issue is recruiting the next generation of hunters. I don't the next think generation of stewards. I don't think we've heard that, but I, I tell you, I don't. I personally feel that it's it's not in good. It's not right for the program to encourage a four-year-old to be killing a big game animal. Who's I just encouraging don't, that? Well, I'm just saying we're not taking it away from a six-year-old. So why would anybody argue with this about taking away the opportunity, taking away only part of the choice for a four-year-old? Because the, 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 the mentor can still give their tag to that four-year-old if they decide four-year-old ready to hunt. And I know if, if it was me, I'd be happy to give my tag to any kid. Uh, I've been I mean, we're on, we're on the same side here, and it's, you know, it's unfortunate for us. <laughs> we seem to be an opposite side of that boat. We're on the same side. We both work on this. Yes, we did, Your Honor. My two grandchildren were sitting down here. They were there. And they're part of my kids. And the governor's <laughs> side of the bill. Okay. So we're on the same page. And uh, Commissioner, uh, we'll just, we'll, uh, I, I just feel you know, we, we talked about putting barriers up yes. in, in life. For all this life's not fair. And there are barriers at every level for everything that we do. And when you start baseball, you want to join Little League, there's a five year old age limit. You want to get into TV football, there's a six year old limit. Um, when you get to drive, you got to be 16. If you want to drink, you got to be 21. So there's barriers, barriers through our whole lives, and we all overcome them. And listen, <coughs> you know, I've, I've met with thousands of kids. And I, I met with my own three children through my life, and I will tell you that all of them were excited about the day they got to go hunting. And at that time, they were 12 before they could hunt. So, yeah, there's barriers, but we overcome the barriers, and I think it's a good thing because then we do mentor the kids. And I'm like the other gentleman that's here with his kids. I stopped hunting when my kids started hunting, and I would have gladly given up my tag to any one of them to shoot a deer. I didn't care about that. We've used our emails for that. My concern is that a group of very intelligent and passionate people worked for two years to get families to feel on board. There are other states out there that are still no barriers. Our program is highly successful. I would much prefer we nail to the wall the people that are misusing it and not punish the people who are not, which I think the numbers are much more significant.